Tertian in the second century AD, a satirical author, remarked that um, the interior of the statue had become infested with mice. And he was using it to make the point that we ought not to judge a book by its cover. That is, the statue of Zeus appeared to be majestic of gold and ivory, but the interior was its rotten wooden core with mice living inside it and rustling around. And in fact, that may be the explanation for the cackle that was emitted by the statue as the workmen for Caligula tried to remove it from its base, that animals nesting in the base of the statue may have been moved from their nests and created such a squawking that it frightened the workmen away. No matter what the source of the unsettling sounds, history leaves us an ironic footnote to the story. Soon after the incident, Caligula reportedly dreamed that he was seated beside Zeus himself. The very next day, Caligula was assassinated by his personal palace guards. Legend has it that this was Zeus's revenge for the emperor's attempt to remove the statue from the temple at Olympia. majestic wonder would eventually fall, not to the greed of an emperor, but to a new religion sweeping the world. After standing in place for more than 800 years, 300 years beyond the time of Christ, the statue and its temple were destroyed. In the year 391, Rome's new Christian emperor Theodosius fearing Zeus's continuing hold on pagan believers, ordered the statue dismantled and stripped of its gold. Within another century, the magnificent temple had disappeared from history. But in a curious way, the likeness of Zeus may still survive today. Many art historians believe that the facial features of the statue were used as a model for images of Jesus. Because so few traces of them remain, the quest for the seven wonders of the ancient world is often a journey into the unknown. For archaeologists, every precious fragment unearthed provides surprising insights into the classical world.